Hello, traders. Welcome, traders. Welcome, investors. Welcome, day traders. Whichever type you are, it doesn't really matter to me. Um, welcome to another presentation. Of course, as mentioned, my name is Oliver Velez. Um, I am a 33-year veteran in this business, uh, placing my first trade in 1981, becoming a professional trader in December of 1986, building one of the largest trading educational firms back in the early 1990s that would go on to be the premier place that professional traders went to to be trained. Um, today, I run a professional proprietary trading firm that um, personally funds over 10,000 traders in 91 different countries. And so for the last three decades more, almost going on four decades, guys, um, I've immersed my life every single moment, every single hour, uh, dedicated to markets, how they operate, how they perform, and more specifically, how do I get my traders to perform better because my traders trade with my capital, All right? So what I'd like to share with you today is a very interesting topic. It's the topic of scalping. Now, the definition of scalping has basically changed over the years. What scalping used to be when it was um, in uh, very much in vogue back in the early 1990s, the mid 90s is completely different from what I'm gonna call scalping today. And I'll explain this as we develop more throughout the presentation. But scalping is a form of short-term trading. So this, there are several forms of trading, right? There's investing or what I call wealth trading. Wealth trading and investing, same thing, wealth trading. Then there's core trading. That's not quite as long as investing, not quite as long as wealth trading, core trading, several months down the line, okay? Then there's what I would call swing trading. Swing trading is actually is a style of trading that I helped coin in the early 1990s, right? So the term swing trading came from an interview of mine back in the early 1990s, and it caught on, and people began to call this shorter term style of market play swing trading, okay? Then there's day trading. Now, day trading or short-term oriented micro trading is really divided into two parts, right? So the two parts of day trading are, is actually day trading and then scalping is a subset of day trading. So scalping is very, very micro. If day trading is micro, scalping is the little brother of day trading, it's even smaller than the day trading space. And that's what I want to talk to you about today, because a lot of traders, professional traders actually make their living in the scalping world. And there's a tremendous number of professional traders, guys, a tremendous number, not a tr tremendous number of people in the industry that don't understand the differences between a trade and a scalp or a day trade in the scalp. And you're gonna know the difference in how to do each one by the end of this presentation, okay? So I'm gonna skip some introductory things, right? Guys, I do want you to follow me on my YouTube channel. I believe this is the channel that, that offers the most value, of course, I'm biased, but the most value in the trading space, okay? Every single day, 365 days a year, I spend hours each day making sure you get something educational value, something that makes you more informed, something that makes you more skilled, something that makes you, that raises your level of market sophistication as a trader every single day. Make sure you go to that YouTube channel, Oliver Velez Trading, subscribe, turn notifications on, click that bell so you don't miss a single thing. And be sure to help the algorithm like each and every one of those videos, okay? All right, cool, guys. I'm going to skip the introductory things. If you want to know who I am, then you can find, find that out on your own. But this is me, guys. This is me as the keynote speaker to the very first International Day Trading, Day Trading Expo in 1999. The industry chose me to represent the industry. And so now I'm here once again to represent you. Okay, let's go. Um, these are my books, five international best-selling books, guys. You can look that stuff up later if you want. I do want you to try to follow me on Instagram and I want you to follow me on my YouTube channel as well, Facebook, 
And I do go live quite a bit on Periscope. So make sure you're following me here if you want just a constant, constant flow of very, very valuable information as it relates to trading. All right, guys, let's talk about the tools we need to do scalping properly, okay? Let's talk about this. First thing we need, we need a two minute chart. Yes, a two minute chart. You can alternatively use a five minute chart, but I prefer that you use a two minute chart for this, okay? Two minute, five minute, your choice, but I lean more a little bit toward the two minute chart. Let's take a look at a two minute chart of Microsoft today. This is Microsoft's two minute history, looks like for up until midday today, all right? So this is a two minute chart of Microsoft where every single bar represents two minutes of trading. Obviously the red bars represent um, the two minute periods that were down, all right? So it started higher, ended lower. And the green bars represent two minute periods where the stock ended, started lower, ended higher, right? Simple, okay, two minute chart. The next thing we need, we need to overlay a 20 period simple moving average. Now, I have been trading for a very long time, studying markets for a very long time. And I will tell you that I've experimented with all types of moving averages. And in my experience, the sexier varieties of moving averages have no real distinct advantage over the simple. Now, if you want to go to, you know, the 20 period exponential, the 20 period weighted, knock yourself out. It's not that different anyway, right? Moving averages are areas. They're not specific little skinny lines as your trading platforms would have you believe, okay? But I use simple and I use those simple moving averages on the closing prices of the bars, okay? Just wanna let you know. This thing bothering me here. All right, so 20 period simple moving average here. Now I'm taking that, I'm taking, um, here's a two minute chart of BABA. I am overlaying a 20 period moving average on the chart. This is averaging the last 20 closing bars. So now guys, just so you know, and I know many of you know this, what a moving average does is help you to iron out the wrinkles in a stock's trend. So in the old days, they, they actually used to call moving averages trend lines because their purpose is to really keep you focused on the prevailing trend. So if that 20 period moving average is declining, it doesn't matter if there's a green bar or two in the midst of the stock's performance, the trend overall is down, right? So it won't matter. For instance, let me just show you this. Let me, let me bring up my, my trusty... Uh, what is this here? My trusty little pen here. And so look at this. It doesn't matter if there's a green bar here. See these green bars? That the overall trend of the moving average keeps you honest, keeps you honest in your overall assessment. I don't care if there's green, that trend is down. The green is not going to affect me. The green is not going to trick me as long as that 20 period moving average is down i'm thinking down i'm thinking negative you understand so that's the purpose of a 20 period moving average here it here's the 20 period moving average started to rise right so it says i don't care right now if there's some red here the overall prevailing trend is up so that's the overall purpose of moving averages to keep you honest in your assessment of what the overall prevailing trend is. Is it a perfect indicator? No, there's no such thing as a perfect indicator. But as a general guide to trend analysis, you can't beat moving averages. And the 20 period moving average, in my opinion, is amongst the most important. There are two really key moving averages. So we've got the 20 period moving average there, right? Okay, now, the next thing we need, we need to overlay a 200 period simple moving average. So whenever you're using moving averages, guys, you wanna always have a short one and a long one. You should never really look at just a one moving average chart. You need a longer term view, the 200, and you need a shorter term view, the 20 period moving average. And that's what we have here. Moving averages are best utilized in, turn, in the form of a buddy system. Do you understand? A buddy system. So short, long, 20, 200 or 13,200, or 8,200. We use a variety of them, but 20 and 200 are the basic two. 
And I would say, I would go as far as saying, you don't really have a viable chart that you're looking at unless you have these two moving averages on the chart. So let's take a look at the 20 period moving average on BABA overlaid. So now we have a two minute chart, each bar representing two minutes of trading. And you've got a 20 period moving average overlaid and you've got a 200 period moving average overlaid. And these two moving averages are operating in a buddy like system. Now, in previous presentations, I've spoken to you about using these two moving averages for my space concept. So whenever your stock, your 20 and your 200 are spaced apart, you are looking for a reversal, okay? And this can happen on the downside as well. You can have the stock way down here, separated from the 20, separated from the 200, and you'd be looking for a reversal back to the upside. But notice how this morning, this is today's activity, BABA opens separated from its 20, and the 20 itself is separated from the 200, leaving behind what we call a dual space reversal event. Okay, so my traders would be taught to actually go bet to the downside on a play like this, but they would first have to see green get eliminated by red. All right, and so here's the last green bar, red eliminates green, they would short here, betting on the downside, stop above the green, protect themselves above the green, and benefit all the way back to the 20 period moving average where now the stock guys is closing the gap between itself and the 20 period moving average Clo gap closed done trade over okay but that's actually a different topic we're going to talk about scalping now let's go on to let's see what am i supposed to show you next we, so we, we got the, we got the uh, that's wrong. That's not a monthly chart, guys. This is wrong. We got a two-minute chart. We got a 20-period moving average on the two-minute chart. We got a 200-period moving average on that chart. Now we need a strong move. What do I mean by a strong move? I have to demonstrate this for you. This is very important. This is a very important component, right, of this thing. So let's say, for instance, we've got, I'm going to paint this. Uh, should I do it? Let's do it red. So a strong move down, boom, that's a strong move. Now, in this strong move, guys, if you're gonna play against this strong move, what do I mean by play against this strong move? What I mean is that if you're going to look to buy somewhere after this decline, buy, if you're looking to buy, your odds, are not very great because of the power of the down move to the left. So think about this, guys. Think about this. This move to the downside is very powerful. All right, this move to the downside is powerful. So it means that any up move that you make, right, any up move after this is going to have to fight what's to the left of it, which is red. All right. So now, some moves will actually make it all the way back to the beginning of the drop, the decline. But how many out of 10 tries will the bounce after a strong drop, how many times will a move come all the way back? I'm going to tell you, one time, let's do this very quickly, da -da 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 -da. one out of 10, we'll go all the way back to the top of the move. This is very important to understand. And then we're gonna to go to chart so I can show you this, right? So strong drop, rally all the way back, recuperating the decline 100%, one out of 10, okay? Now, let's say 75, let's do this, 75. So this is the 100% level, right? All right, it's important. Let's say 75% back up. Uh-uh, that's wrong. 75%. 75% instead of 100%. How many? Two. 
out of 10. All right, interesting. So look, guys, one, let's do it like this. So 100% all the way back, you're gonna get one out of 10. All right, one out of 10. I had to mess that up, but anyway, you get the point. So one out of 10 goes 100%, 75%, two out of 10. Now check this out. Something interesting happens here at 50%. Now your numbers go big. At 50%, your numbers go six out of 10. Wow. So six times out of every 10 tries, the bounce back up after a decline will retrace 50% of the decline. So now you're a profitable trader if you control your downside, just going for 50%. Wow. You're not a profitable trader going for 75% of the way back up. You're not a profitable trader going 100% of the way back up. You're a profitable trader if you control the downside, you're a profitable trader at 50%, only going for 50% retracement. A stock drops, buy it, 50% back up, out. Six times out of every 10. But check this out. This is the most interesting. This is the most interesting traders, right? So now let's go to 33%. No, let's go to 25%. Now, 25%, right? 25% of the way back up. Look what happens. Boom! <laughs> so look, 20, if you go after 25% of the way back up, you're right nine times out of every 10 tries. Wow. Wow. Now you're super profitable as a trader. So where do you think a scalper wants to live his life? Where do you think he wants to dedicate himself to 100% going after the one out of 10 going after the 75% going after 50. No, he lives in that 25% move back up 25% move back up 25% move back up 25% move back up. Boom, 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 boom. Nine times out of every 10. You're going to get that 25% move back up. And so that's what scalping is. It is sacrificing, right? The possibility of a 100, which is going to come every now and then if you're lucky. But living in that world where I get the time 10, I just got to control that one time that it doesn't work. Nine times out of every 10, nine times out of 10. This is scalping. Same thing on the downside, same concept on the downside, but let's go to charts now. I'm going to show you, show you this. It's going to get really interesting, guys. Let's go to charts now, right? Let me see how I do this. Let's see. I am going to share. I think I do it like this. Boom. There we go. Okay. My trading platform here, right? So what I need to do, guys, I need to put, I, I told you, I need to put the 20 period. We're going to put a 20 period simple moving average on there. I'm going to make that blue. Let's make that blue. Do it right in front of your faces. All right. 20 period moving average on Microsoft right there, right? Then I'm going to put the 200 period moving average on there. Let's do that. It doesn't, it's not really relevant to us today, but let's just do it anyway. All right. I'm going to do that. I'm going to put that 200 on there. Keep that red. Boom. Okay, good. Now, look. I want you to know, remember that, remember what I told you, right, about space? That was a different talk that I did on my concept with space, but I just want to bring your attention to that real fast, right? Like, look at how, look at Microsoft opens, where it opens in relationship to the 20 and how 20 is separated from the 200. So you see that, that th those layers of space, right? That space, dual layers of space, space one, and space two. And whenever we get these dual layers of space, we bet the other way because the market doesn't like space. It narrows space. So now see, there's no space. So once there's no seat, we started off with space. 
Now we go to no space. Look at all three items. Look at your stop. Look at your 20 period moving average and look at your 200. There's zero space now. Now we go back the other way. Crazy, right? Amazing. Okay. So, but that's a different topic. We're talking about scalping now. Now, I want you to take a look at this drop. This is one fluid drop. It's interrupted by a, 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 a certain number of green bars, but the fluid move to the downside is down, right? Now, if you want to try to buy the bottom of that, you can't expect more. If you want high accuracy, you can't expect more than, remember those levels, right? 25% if you want your accuracy. So scalping is a counter trend approach to grab a quick pop in the markets. You're going after 25% of this is 100% all the way back up. So if your stop had the ability to come all the way back up, that's one time out of 10, or two times out of 10, or halfway, six times out of 10, but 25%, you're gonna get that nine times out of 10 tries. And so the scalper goes against that flow, but just for 25% out and can literally make his entire living on a scalp. All they do is look for, all scalpers do is look for a drop, all right? A sharp drop, boom. Let me do that a different color. That's better on a different color here, right? So boom, look at the bounce, you see? Not all the way up here, you're not gonna get that. That's the sucker's play, bounce, drop back. Now. Look, drop, bounce, 25%. Look at this. Look at the next one. Look at the next one. Let me show you. All right. Drop. Here's one fluid drop. Bounce. There's your 25%. You're not getting 100%. You're not getting 75%. You're not getting half. Boom. Now, here's something really interesting. Check this out. I need to demonstrate this for you. This, is, this gets me so excited. You have no idea. So check this out. When you get a drop that goes way past the 50% level, right? Now this is way past, not 100, but it gets really high past 50%. The next drop usually will not be a new low down here. This drop will turn and that's when you trade, you don't scalp this bottom here. You see, the scalp play, if you want, is there. The trade is here, where you wanna hold on to that one longer than the scalp. This is gonna go further than 25%. This is gonna likely go bigger than 50% of the way back up, you understand? So let me demonstrate this again. This is important to understand. Drop, 25%, new low. But drop, 60 Five, 70%, no new low. And this becomes a trade, not a scalp. Okay, very different. You gotta know what's a trade and you gotta know what's a scalp opportunity. And knowing the difference between these plays does increase your accuracy, guys, does increase your accuracy. So look, we drop, boom. That does not get past that 50% level of this drop, right? It doesn't. So we're going to new lows. Now look, drop, here's now a, an up, up movement, up movement, up movement. That up movement does not get past 50%. We're going to new lows. But wait a minute, check out this last one. Check out this last one, look at this drop. Now take this drop, split it in half. It goes way past the 50% level, you see? We break through the 50% level, right? Now, this drop does not make a new low. Now, we want to think about a trade, all right? We want to buy green when it takes out red. We want to buy green when red. We want to buy green. Boom! <sighs> Very different. So here's the scenario, guys. Here's a scenario that I need you to understand. 
When you got drops, let's do this a different color. When you have declines, right? You got to watch how they bounce, right? Because if they bounce marginally, that's a new low scenario. But if your drop bounces way past 50%, this down here becomes a potential buy opportunity for a trade. Now, this is your scalp trade for a quick 25% if you, if you want to try that. Or this becomes your real longer term trade intraday, longer than a scalp, more than 25%, when your rallies break significantly past that 50% level, right? And so you need to keep these percentages in mind. I can show you this on another chart. Check this out. Let's, let's go to something else. Let's, I'm bored with Microsoft. Let's go to, uh, what do we do here? Let's go to, I don't know, Baba, all right? Hey, Oliver, just wanted to give you the five-minute warning. Yes. Oh, I got the five-minute warning. All right, so check this out, guys. Check this out. So we've got BABA this morning. This is this morning, okay? You've got, look, you've got separation, separation, separation. We're betting this way. But check this out, guys. This is amazing. We drop. Look at the bounce. Not, this is the halfway mark, right? Here's your halfway mark. Here's your 25% mark. Boom, new lows, okay? Now check this out though. This is interesting. Now let's take this drop, okay? Now let's split that in half. You go past the 50% level. So now there's no new low. This green taking out red can be a quick buy if you like. So I, I, I just want you to be able to understand the probabilities are very important traders. After a drop, all right, if it's a sharp drop, there can be a buy opportunity there, but you can't expect more than 25% if you want to be consistent and accurate, okay? If that bounce is less then 50% odds are huge that the next decline goes to a new low. If that rally goes further than 50% by a lot, all right, then that pullback sets up a nice trading opportunity for you. And we utilize this tactic all day long, every single day. 50%, 25%, 50%, 25%. And I want you to do that as well. Now, before I leave, I got a couple minutes here. Before I leave, I want to, do, I want to take you back to something here. Let me do this. Let me do a new share here. Boom. Yes. Okay, guys, look. I want to show you this. My traders that enter my program, they have to go through training, right? Where I train them all of the tactics like this. There's a, there's a ton of things we I teach them, right? then they have to demonstrate their ability to make $3,000 right here. They have to make $3,000. Once they make $3,000, now here's what's, here's what's doubly interesting, right? They can't lose more than $300 on any given day or $600 on any given week, all right? They lose more than 300, they're shut down for the day. If they lose more than 600, they're shut down for the week, all right? But they have to approach $3,000 or achieve $3,000 without triggering these. Now, once they do that, they graduate. They graduate training, and now I make their account live. I put $50,000 in their account, and they trade. They get 40% of the gains. I get 60% of the gains, but they never risk a single penny of their own family's money ever. If they lose, it's my fault. I take the losses. It's my loss, not their loss, right? So they have zero risk, zero risk. I take 100% of the risk. That's why I get 60%. All right. Okay. Now, check this out as well. Very quickly. This program does have a cost, but it's one cost for the rest of your life. It's the cost of a losing trade. It's the cost of a couple of dinners. All right. Look, self-start trading program. Let's just talk about that. For life. It's a lifetime program. I train you every single day of your entire life. Training never stops. There's no expiration to this, right? You get a $50,000 trading account. 
that can go to 100,000, 250,000, 300,000, half a million dollars, a million dollars. You grow your account size through your performance. It's all my capital. You don't ever have to risk your own money, ever. I fund you for life. Try to do this professionally, right? It's a $1,700 cost, all right? But get this, your first $1,700 in your, in your trading is all yours without me sharing. So get your $1,700 back. And then after you get your $1,700 back through your own trading, right? After it's all back, that's when I start taking my 60%. It's an amazing, it's an amazing program. You can make the program free for yourself. But listen to this, next 48 hours, you can get the program for $1,500. So think about this, you can lose $1,500 in an afternoon trading. You can lose $1,500 in one single trade, one week, one month. Listen guys, you need a minimum of $25,000 to open up your, your day trading account at any brokerage firm. And if you're $1 under 25,000, you can't day trade. This, you're getting around this. You don't need $25,000. You now need $1,500 to do this professionally. And I will have some of the best traders, including myself, work with you every single day until you get this, until you get this. Don't risk your family's money. No one smart in this business trades with their own money. Use my capital. Anyway, guys, I hope you enjoyed the presentation on scalping those percentages utilize that it will be huge in the way you see and operate in the markets thank you very much guys